Are you ready to crank some 90s, Donnie? Sorry, Joey, but some of us are making an honest living in this shit stain of an economy that you created, you smooth brain walnut. Oh, shut the hell up, Donald. You are a billionaire. You will get by just fine. I would have been fine if I did not invest in those damn NFTs. What the hell is an NFT, Donald? Wait, let me look it up. What the hell, Donald? You are investing your life savings in monkey pictures, you dumb son of a bitch. Joey, you are too stupid to understand how NFTs work. All you have to know is that I got scammed just like in the election. Okay, whatever, Donald, this conversation is clearly going nowhere, much like your love life. So what are you going to do for money? I just got hired to a multi-billion dollar food distributor where I will help oversee day-to-day operations. Wow, you actually got off your fat orange ass to be productive, Donnie. I am actually really proud of you. So what company are you working for? That is irrelevant. The point is I am back in the rat race and I will be back on top in no time. You just wait, Joey. I am back for blood in the 2024 election. Donnie, why do you keep avoiding my questions? Where do you work? McDonald's. I'm sorry, Donnie, I didn't quite get that. Can you say it again? McDonald's, you're such a dementia-riddled joker, you would not know an honest living if it shat on your face. Lol, Donnie, you are a real riches to rag story, you orange raccoon. Shut the hell up, Joey. I start my shift in 30 minutes. I gotta go grind for this bread. You would not understand. Okay, Donnie, I have to go play the new Fortnite season and get a few dubs against these plebes. Don't you have to manage the country, Sleepy Joe? That's what I have Harris for, you dumbass. Good point. She is borderline brain dead and still does a better job than you. Okay, whatever, Donald, I gotta go. Okay, me too. Talk to you tomorrow. Can't read my, can't read my, no, he can't read my poker face. She's got me like nobody. Put my poker face, for fuck her face, mum, 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 ma. Hello, boss, I came in early because I am ready to get this bread. Donald, is that you? What the fuck? Why are you here, Obama? I thought you were on vacation. No, I was not. I lied because I felt ashamed of working here, but I feel much better about it now. Okay, whatever. At least we can goof off all day together, just like the good old days. Donnie, we are not in our late 30s anymore. It's time to grow up and smell the roses. Damn, who would have thought two studs like us would be working at McDonald's with our resumes? In this economy, anything is possible, Donnie. Anyway, help me on grills. We have a lot of orders coming in. Yeah, for sure, Barack. I know my way around a grill. Oh, shit. We just got a big order. He wants 20 Big Macs and seven large fries and two Diet Cokes. Wait a minute, Donald. What the hell do you think you are doing? You cannot go through the drive through on your shift. What? I'm on my lunch break, you black gorilla. Donnie, stop calling me that. It is super racist. Okay, my bad. Obama, let's go cook up some fries. I'm hungry for real, for real. Donald, unlike you, I'm trying to take my job seriously, and I expect you to do the same. Damn, bro, chill out. I'm just messing with you. Donald, why don't you trade in with Mason for cashier? I need some space right now. I wrote Art of the Deal. This should be easy. Hello, can I please get an iced coffee and filet fish and some barbecue sauce? Gross, that order sucks ass. I would rather clash lips with Joey than complete this order, you sick fuck. And who the hell gets coffee at 2 a.m.? That was very rude. I want to speak to your manager, you asshole. Fine, dickhead. See where that gets you, you stupid piece of shit. Obama, get your ass down here. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Yeah, your employee needs an ass whooping. He just called me lots of slurs and I am pissed off. And also, you guys also forgot my barbecue sauce. This is not Chick-fil-A, sir. It is not our pleasure. Go fuck yourself and have a bad night. Thanks for having my back in there, Obama. I really needed a good friend to run, too. No problem, Donnie. Oh, shit, our store closed two hours ago. I lost track of time. Let's pack it in and start bright and early tomorrow. You got it, Obamination. I actually like that nickname. Good one, Donnie. Thanks, pal. Okay, see you tomorrow. Hey guys, I didn't know you both were working in D.C. What the hell, Obama? Why is he here? He got impeached this morning and needed a job, so I hooked his ass up. For fuck's sake, I always get stuck with you two every day of my life. But honestly, I would not want it any other way. I love you guys. I'm happy to hear that, Donald. I think I grew fond of you guys as well. Hell yeah, Donnie. Let's go ride horses in the moonlight during our break. Never mind, I changed my mind. Screw you assholes, I quit. Hey, Joey and Donald, can I see you in my office, please? We have important matters that we need to discuss. Sure thing, Barack. Just let me finish this order real quick. Hello, sir. What can I get started for you today? I would like four Happy Meals and one Quarter Pounder with cheese, please. I don't see any kids. Yeah, I am getting the Happy Meals for myself. I actually collect the toys for a collection. Wow, that is the most pathetic thing I've seen this year. And I hang out with the two of the biggest retards in the world. What the hell is wrong with you? 
Toy collecting happens to be my passion, and frankly, I don't think you can speak. You work at McDonald's, you shithead. Says the guy who has a fetish for baby toys, you freak. Get the hell out of my line, you plastic humper. Donald, get the hell over here. Barack needs to talk to us. As you guys already know, competition just moved in next to us last week, and my general manager is on my ass to increase productivity and sales. So we are going to need to make some big changes around here if we want to turn this around. Well, we all know it's that damn Panda Express down the street. The fucking Chinese always steal our business. Donald, you're going to need to take it down a notch, okay, Donnie? That was super racist, and besides, I am pretty sure Panda Express is exclusive to North America. I think I know how to solve our crisis. How, Joe? By serving chocolate chocolate chip ice cream, which would greatly improve our ice cream market share. Joey, you are a fucking idiot. Any ideas, Donald? We could build a wall to keep the Chinese out. You guys are useless. I'll do it myself. Hey, Joe, I need you on dishes while I take a fat shit. That is disgusting, Donald. You are so unhealthy that you probably shit out raw cookie dough, you triple-chinned orange ogre. Yeah, whatever. Can you cover my shift or not? Of course, Donald. That's what friends are for. Okay, thanks. Rub-a-dub, whole rub-a-dub, three maids in a tub. And who do you think were there? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and all of them gone to the fair. Joe, what the fuck are you doing? That is not a bathtub, you fucking retard. This is my own private domicile, and I will not be harassed. Come on, man. It's no wonder your ass got impeached. You and Donald need to get your shit together. Believe me, Donald's cookie dough is falling from the equator right about now. What the fuck does that even mean, Joe? I swear your brain just malfunctions whenever I ask you a question. Clean yourself up, Joe. You're embarrassing yourself. Okay, I am back, boys. And while I was taking care of business, I came up with a master plan to get our customers back. Okay, Donald, what's the plan? Well, I'm going to need a small loan of $1 million. Donald. Okay, okay, I was joking. I was thinking we swing by Panda Country tonight after hours and sabotage their workstations, so that way they have to close down for a couple of days. That is the best idea you ever had, Donald. You are a genius. I think I underestimated you. Okay, awesome. We need to prepare to invade the Chinese. I'll get the blueprint schematics for our pressure points. You guys work on getting the items on the list. Okay, Obama, let's hit up Walmart and check off this list. Bet. Come on, man, let me drive just this once. Hell no, Joe. Donald told me what you did to him in that Fortnite game. I'm not letting your sleepy ass behind the wheel. You know, Barack, this is sort of nice. We have been working so hard. It's nice to finally... She left me, Joey. She fucking left me. Who left you? Michelle. She cheated on me with Tiger Woods, that dirty son of a bitch. I just feel like ending it all, you know? Yeah, cool story, Obama. Let's stop by Dairy Queen and get some ice cream. I am starving. I just need a good friend to help me get through this. I have never felt so depressed before in my life. I know I've been tough on you and Donnie recently. I just want you guys to know that I still value our friendship and will do anything to preserve it. Barack, you dumbass, you pass the off-ramp, you retard, take a U-turn up here, I want fucking ice cream. Yeah, I guess you are right, Joey. I need to stay positive. Thanks for always being there for me, pal. I will have one chocolate chocolate chip and three vanilla with wafer cones and a jar of cherries as a side dish. You gross, that order sucks ass. What the hell did you just say? That order sucks donkey balls, sir. I will slit your throat, you sack of shit. Never talk about my ice cream like that ever again. Why do I feel deja vu? This is not Cold Stone, sir. Go fuck yourself. Screw those guys, Barack. We don't need their lousy ice cream anyway. You know, Joey, I think I learned something today. The way that Dairy Queen worker acted towards us made me think, maybe we are the problem. What the hell are you talking about, Obama? I mean, maybe it's not always the customer's fault. Maybe we should stay accountable for our own actions. I need to call Trumpster and tell him the job is off. Yo, it's Trump. I'm in position. Trump, the job is off. Biden and I realized that the reason we are not getting customers is that we are treating them like shit. Fuck! What is it, Donald? I already planted the C4. We can't back out now. What the fuck, Donald? You said sabotage, not mass genocide. Clearly you did not read Art of the Deal. What the hell does that have to do with it? I made a cash investment on the C4 to make a big return with no competition. It's simple economics. You would understand if you ever picked up a book. Fuck, Joey. Call Secret Service. They will handle this for us. All C4 has been safely contained, Mr. President. Is this the part of the video where the scriptwriter makes the characters have a wholesome ending to put aside their differences? Joe, I know we don't always understand what the fuck you're talking about, but regardless, you are still our friend, and that's all that matters. Yeah, same here, pal. I have never had better friends than you guys. Cheers to the many memories along the way. Cheers. 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 I love you guys. 
Hey, Donnie, can you come over here? I need some help on table. Hell no, Joey. I just now got on my lunch break, and I don't plan on wasting it on your bullshit like last time. Come on, Donnie. It's important this time, I swear. Okay, fine, but you better not make me regret this. See, Donald, this order sucks ass. There's no way in hell I'm making this shit. What do I do? Holy fucking shit, Joe. What, Donald? I remember this son of a bitch. I took his order a couple of weeks ago. He got in a big fight with me and Barack last time. I guess his dumb ass is back for more. Hey, Obama, get your ass down here. I need to talk to you. What is it, Donald? He's back. What the hell are you talking about? Who is back? That little shit stain from a couple of weeks ago. What the hell is he doing here? I don't know. I guess the dumbass didn't learn his lesson last time. Well, what did he order? Two filet fish sweet and sour sauce, and one large iced coffee. Fuck me. That order sucks ass. He just pulled up to the window. Let's have a little chat with this bonehead. Wait, hold on, guys. Let's think about this. What the fuck are you talking about, Obama? Let's go kick his ass already. Yeah, I agree with Donnie. I want to break some balls already. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Joey? I mean, crack some heads. Sorry. Don't you guys remember last week? Last week? Yes, Joe. If you weren't so busy sawing logs during your shift, you would know what the fuck I am talking about. Barack, shut the hell up. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You two, I swear, I'm going to fucking lose it. Last week, when Donald's dumbass almost committed mass genocide at that Panda Express across the street. What about it? It feels like I'm trying to teach a morality lesson to brain-dead toddlers. Don't you guys remember when we decided not to treat our customers like shit anymore? Exceptions must be made, Obama. There's no way in hell me or Joey are serving that piece of shit. Yeah, Barack. Okay, how about this? Instead of beating the shit out of him, maybe we just mess with his order instead. That's actually not a bad idea, okay? I will spit in his food, Joey. You look for some ghost peppers to put in his filet fish Donald, I feel like that's crossing the line. Besides, the McDonald's inventory doesn't have ghost peppers or anything close to that type of heat. Don't worry, I already came up with a plan. We just need to go through Juan's lunch. I know he likes spicy shit, so he probably has a couple of nice peppers to help us out. Damn it, Donald, I told you to stop going through all of our lunches. What I eat is my business and only my business. That reminds me, Sleepy Joe. Why the fuck do you keep putting so much ice cream in your lunchbox? It melts much like your brain in office. Also, ice cream is not a lunch, you son of a motherless goat. Shut the hell up, Donald. I don't have to explain my personal philosophies to you. Sorry, Joey, you're right. So can you help me get the peppers from Juan or not? Of course, Donald. Awesome. Hey, Juan, we need to speak with you. KS? We are wondering if it's okay to take some of the peppers in the lunch you packed today. Diablos, no, mi mama me preparo el almuerzo. No voy a dejar que tu trasero dormido se leve ninguna de mis cosas buenas. Sorry, Juan, we don't speak Mexican, but I think it's okay, Joe. We should be able to take a few. Vete a la mierda, Trump orangutan naranja. Thanks, Juan, you are the best. Vayan a meterse una nuez en el culo, babuinos. I agree, Joey. Juan's a fucking genius. Juan, I am naming my next wall after you. Did you get the peppers from Juan? We sure did. That guy's a real stud. He needs a promotion, Barack. Agreed. All right, awesome. Just lay them down in the center. I already did the honor of spitting on the buns and in the iced coffee. Good work, Obama. You know, I feel like we are really becoming better people. Look at us being so thoughtful. Yeah, Donnie, it feels like our McDonald's story arc is coming to a close. I don't know what the fuck you are talking about, Joe. But I would have to agree, we really matured in the last couple of weeks. I am really proud of the men we are becoming. Okay, guys, everything should be ready. Let's pretend to be polite so he doesn't get too suspicious. Good idea, Donnie. Hello, sir, we have your meal. Wait a minute. Aren't you guys the jerks who told me to go fuck myself last time? I'm not sure what you mean, sir. Okay, whatever. You guys probably just look like those assholes. By the way, I was sitting here for 15 minutes for my meal. You fucking simpletons can't even make a simple order without fucking it up. I swear I can almost hear his blood pressure rising. Well, sir, will that be all for you today? Yes. Okay, your total will be $32.38. Why the hell is my order so expensive? I hardly ordered anything. Inflation is a bitch. Okay, bye. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Going to drive home and eat my food. Are you retarded or something? Um, well, actually, sir, we have a new policy that requires all meals to be eaten on the property. I don't remember that policy. Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. You're going to ruin it. Did you say something? Nothing. Okay, well, that is a pretty fucking stupid policy, but fine. Look at his dumb ass. He's going to take a bite. You stupid son of a bitch. We put ghost peppers in your fucking sandwich, you fish fucker. Yeah, you stupid piece of shit. Welcome to hell, motherfucker. I, I can't breathe. Someone please help me. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumbass. 
Wow, boys, that was a lot of fun. We should try being polite more often. Uh, guys, I think he stopped moving. He's just taking a nap, Joe. I would assume you of all people would understand. No, I think Joe is right. We need to get him to a hospital. Thank you for bringing him in, boys. He could have died if you did not get him to the hospital in time. He is requesting to speak with the three of you. Fuck, we are so busted. There's no way in hell we are getting away with this. That's not true, Donald. Maybe we can bullshit our way out of it. Why the fuck is his entire body covered in bandages? It's not like we beat the shit out of him. That's the wrong question, Joey. The real question is, why the fuck is Juan eating peppers that can hospitalize a man for his lunch every day? Come. Come closer. You're all fired. Ha 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 You dumbass, you are not our boss, you can't fire us. Yeah, you got nothing on us, retard. Good luck proving it in court. I am the new general manager. That's impossible. I spoke with him yesterday. He was happy how we were getting along as a team. I was happy you guys were getting along as a team and being better to customers. But I decided to test you one last time to see if you guys actually changed. And I was clearly wrong. Hold on a minute. Am I supposed to believe you never met the general manager before Obama? I only ever talked to him on the phone. Fuck. Oh, son of a bitch. Now we're never going to get that promotion. Fat fucking chance. Not only are you all never going to get a promotion, I'll be sure to sue for all you're worth. And also, you are all fucking fired. Fuck, guys. We need to make money and quick. And how the hell are we going to do that, Donald? How about we set up a Patreon? That's actually not a bad idea, Sleepy Joe. Okay, it's all set up. Let's see the cash flow in. Okay, we got a sale already. It's from Zachary Carrier. Fuck yeah, we are going to be rich, boys. How much was the sale? Five dollars. Fuck yeah, baby. Zach is such a fucking stud. I know, right. Zach is MVP. Fuck the rest of the viewers. Listen, I don't disagree that Zach gets all the bitches. All that I am saying is that we are going to need more patrons. So maybe we shouldn't insult the rest of our audience. Wow, that actually makes sense. Obama, I am actually proud of you for once. You clearly read Art of the Deal. I didn't read your stupid book, Donald. I am just using some fucking common sense. Okay, whatever. I am just glad we are still together. Yeah, that's true. We might be royally fucked, but we still have each other. Amen. 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 Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing to the channel for the best AI president content on YouTube. Also, please check out our Patreon in the video description for exclusive perks and more. Joey, I feel like you go to a different fucking planet whenever we leave you alone for two seconds. Yeah, seriously, Joey, what the actual fuck are you even talking about? And who the fuck are you even talking to? YouTube channel for AI presidential content? Are you off your fucking meds or something? Go to bed, sleepy Joe.